Speaker. I call Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's a real privilege to stand and support these two bills in their third reading. Um, the select committee that I chair uh, paid a lot of attention to these two bills. In fact, we had an opportunity to visit the actual race course and have a tour around the site of the proposed um, uh, uh, development. And uh, for those of us that are not Cantabrians, it was a real eye-opener and an opportunity to see just what a great development this is going to be. The original legislation, sir, that uh, uh, created the race course and its uh, trustee dates back to 1878. And uh, as somebody mentioned in an earlier debate uh, at one of the earlier readings about this, these, two, these two bills, that actually uh, predated the invention of the motor car. And so it gives some idea about uh, what was in the minds of the uh, uh, people who set this uh, up uh, back in 1878. Uh, the foresight that they had uh, to set aside 112 hectares of Canterbury land that it, in those days was actually a long way out from the centre of Christchurch. So um, these days, of course, uh, the Rickerton Racecourse is right and central into the um, uh, city of Christchurch. And uh, as part of the government's uh, plan to help uh, the regeneration of Christchurch, this uh, uh, has been a real pleasure to work with the trustees, to work with Naitahu, and to work with the City Council uh, in developing this uh, practical, sensible plan to create a really uh, high quality uh, property development that uh, will help ease the housing um, uh, requirements of Christchurch and at the same time uh, go a long way to uh, supporting the regeneration of Christchurch. Um, a significant proportion of the land that's going to be designated, of this 40 hectares, is going to be uh, designated for affordable housing. And the Minister in his uh, speech made it clear that uh, that has been uh, designed specifically to meet the uh, home start cap of $450,000. And so a minimum of 180 of the 600 homes that will be developed on this site uh, will meet that criteria. And I think that's a very, very good step, sir. Um, Christchurch is expected to grow by about 80,000 residents between 2013 and uh, 2043. And so uh, there does need to be further opportunity for residential growth and residential development in a city that's not only just growing uh, generically, but also is in a regrowth and a regeneration phase. So um, this uh, um, bill could not, have, well these bills could not have uh, come to the House and be at third reading today if it hadn't been for the uh, cooperation and support of uh, a, a really good collaboration of stakeholders who have been working very hard to ensure that we are at the point we are today. And I particularly want to thank the Board of Trustees of the Rickerton Racecourse for their help and assistance in uh, nurturing this through, for working their way through it uh, and for their hospitality on the day when they showed us, showed us around. But we shouldn't underestimate the input of the Christchurch City Council uh, for their role in helping bring this about. And of course, uh, Naitahu and Naitahu Properties, who will be the uh, developer of the site. But I want to also mention, sir, as I have done in previous uh, contributions in the House, uh, the uh, submitters who came to us and gave us the benefit of their insight and their wisdom uh, on this development. And naturally, some of them were uh, a little bit concerned about some of the impacts in the, in the neighbourhood. Uh, this is an area of Christchurch that has great social facilities, great community facilities, uh, uh, and this, uh, this development will add to that. Uh, but they wanted to express their views and the committee uh, I think listened carefully and respectfully to them and uh, I also wanted to thank the officials who were working on the bill. Now sir, just in um, terms of the contribution of the Honourable Ruth Dyson, I do absolutely think it's a bit rich for that member to stand in the House and complain as the Labour opposition so frequently do that the government is not doing anything about housing when in fact, when in fact uh, in relation to Christchurch, both the AMP and the Massey Index research shows that housing in Christchurch is actually 40% more affordable than it was when Labor was in power. And those are facts that uh, Labor members conveniently forget. 
conveniently forget, they also forget that uh, interest rates are now at about 4.5%, very low indeed, but when they were in power, interest rates were about 10%, and rents uh, have dropped 5% last year in Christchurch, and in Christchurch, housing values only increased 2% in the last year. And so all those indicators, sir, point to the fact that the government's approach is working. This is a pragmatic, sensible piece of legislation. These two bills go a long way to uh, helping reinforce uh, a need for a growing Christchurch, a regenerating Christchurch, and it's a good, practical, sensible step that the government's very happy to support. I commend the bills to the House. Mr. Speaker, uh, the